This video will introduce you to a new operation that you can perform with vectors called the dot product. The dot product is kind of a way of multiplying vectors. We already know how to add and subtract them, so we're moving on to something similar to multiplication, but it is slightly different, and I'll explain exactly how to perform the dot product throughout this video. Another name for the dot product is the scalar product, because the output of the dot product is a scalar. For starters, let's learn the definition. The definition comes in the form of an equation where we have two vectors, a and b. And so a dot b is equal to the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle that's between those two vectors. That's what phi stands for here. Also, we can perform the dot product in unit vector notation, saying that a dot b is equal to the multiplication of the x component of a and b plus the product of the y components of a and b, plus the product of the z components of a and b. Choosing which one of these options to use really depends on how and what format you're given the two vectors. If you're given the vectors as a magnitude and a direction, this first option, a, b, cosine, phi, is the better of your two options. However, if you're given your vectors in unit vector notation, the latter is really the easier option to use. I also want to point out that this definition of the dot product is what we commonly use when we're trying to find an angle between two vectors. So let's learn a few more specifics, um, some properties of the dot product. Some of these properties may sound familiar because they're properties you learned way back in the day when you were first learning about multiplication and division. Firstly, is that the dot product is commutative. What that means is if we have a dot b that is equal to b dot a. So it doesn't matter what order we list those vectors. The dot product is also distributive. Which tells me if I have something like a dot b plus c that I can distribute that A to both the B and C. So this would be equal to A dot B plus A dot C. And I'll just point out with the order of operations, similar to with multiplication of regular numbers, you would um, use the dot product, you would evaluate the dot product prior to adding things together. I also want to talk about when we get a minimum value for the dot product. Let's think about that definition. A dot B is equal to AB cosine of theta, or cosine of phi. When is the cosine of phi at a minimum? If you answered when the angle is 90 degrees, you're correct, because the cosine of 90 degrees is zero. So that means the dot product is at a minimum when the two vectors are perpendicular to each other, or the angle between them is 90 degrees. Similarly, the dot product is at a maximum when that cosine of phi expression is the biggest it can possibly be, which we know the biggest that the cosine of any angle can be is 1, and that happens when the angle is either 0 or uh, when the angle is 0, or it could also be negative 1, which is when the angle is 180 degrees. This happens when my two vectors are parallel to each other. So we get a maximum when our vectors are parallel and a minimum, which is equal to zero, when our vectors are perpendicular. So just a couple other quick comments about the dot product. If we have unit vectors, i dot j, or i dot k, or j dot k, these unit vectors are all perpendicular to each other. And we said that when unit vectors are perpendicular, that product is at a minimum, and that minimum is zero. So all these things are equal to zero. Similarly, if I have unit vectors i dot i, or j dot j, or k dot k, these are called unit vectors, right? So that means they have a value, a uh, magnitude of one. And so if I were to dot these 
by each other. They are parallel. And so I would get one when I take that dot product. One final expression here is that if I dot a vector by itself, then I am effectively getting out the square of the magnitude of that vector. So we'll use the dot product throughout the year in various expressions. Time um, in your previous learning of physics that you saw magnitude of one vector, magnitude of another vector, times the cosine of the angle between them. In AP physics, we'll focus on that being the dot product.